But times were just as tough halfway across the drawing in the former Soviet satellite of Potsylvania, where Rocky and Bullwinkle's arch rivals, Boris and Natasha, and their fearless leader, fearless leader, were cooking up their latest scheme for taking over the world, when their plans were crushed by the fall of the Iron Curtain. What's going on? But while the citizens of Potsylvania rejoiced in their newfound freedom, Yay! Fearless Leader and his cohorts went underground. Whereupon they embarked upon a terrifying plan. <coughs> a plan that would take them to a strange new land where the line between cartoon and reality is so thin that it's hard to tell one from the other. A place where with the right special effects, it might just be possible to break through to the other side. It was a beautiful and smoggy day at Pony Pictures Studio, where an ambitious junior executive named Minnie Mogul was busy searching for a hot new script. Too intelligent. Too intelligent. Hello, Minnie. Holy mackerel, who are you? Three of the most terrifying villains in the history of children's television. How do you do? Nice to meet you. What do you want? Viva Vandering. How would you like to produce the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie? I'd love to. I love it. What is it? It's classic American cartoon from early 60s. Mm -hmm. Listen, Minnie, we're stuck in reruns. You're looking for a project. Maybe we can help each other out. This contract gives you all rights to the Rocky and Bullwinkle show. All you have to do is sign right here, and your first producing endeavor is as good as gold. What's the matter? I can't sign a contract that'll help three ruthless villains take over the world. I just can't. Why, Why not? not? My pen's out of ink. You smile. OK. And then, through the miracle of computer-generated digital technology, Minnie reached into the television set and signed the contract. But when she tried to pull the contract out, the expensive animated characters were instantly converted into even more expensive motion picture stars. <laughs> Hey, how did that happen? We are attached to the project. But even though the pun was weak, the contract was ironclad, and the three villains walked out of the studio and into the real world.